Okay, so uh, now we're back with uh, in the middle of doing this implode thing. Uh, what we want to do is we want to make this so we output some kind of um, string that we can pass through into our query. So what do we want to do? Well, on the outside of this, I'm going to append uh, two things or two strings, sorry. Um, and what am I going to do? Well, I'm going to implode a back. Uh, sorry, I'm going to append a back tick here, and I'm going to append a back tick here. Now within this, I'm going to append a back tick, a comma, and then another back tick. And this is exactly the same as how we output errors in the last part of the tutorial. Um, and what we did is this will always be on the left hand side of the result of this. This will always be on the right hand side of the re uh, result of this. And within, we're going to implode, and within that, we're going to put a back tick, a comma, and a back tick. So now, if we go ahead and echo fields, we get this. So you can see now that w when we select data from a query, we actually say select uh, user ID, comma, username, password, and we do it exactly like this. So now we can just pass this string into a query, and if, for example, I said in the last part we want to remove an uh, email, then this will be removed from the query. So it's perfect. We've got a, a really, really flexible way of doing this now. Uh, so let's go ahead and actually, you know, get on with doing our query. I'm going to say data is equal to MySQL query. And remember, we've got data up here, um, uh, which is going to, you know, uh, return all of our data. Uh, and we'll need to use the MySQL fetch uh, a sock function or associative array function in a moment. And we're going to wrap that around this. So I'm going to say select fields from and remember our database table is called users where user ID is equal to user ID user ID is the first parameter that we pass through into the uh, into the function and fields is what we've just generated uh, so actually let me just go and echo this so we, we you can sort of see the result of this so I'm gonna kill the script there and echo this and go ahead and refresh. So we've got select user ID, username, password, first name, last name, email from users where user ID equals one. One is the session that we passed through uh, here. And then these are the fields. So if I go ahead and get rid of these two, the query that we're going to pass through to the database updates to reflect that. And then we can just return this data and use that as we please. So very uh, effective, but you know somewhat complicated. But once you get your head around this, it's a really, really good thing to do. Uh, and then outside of this, uh, in fact, no, we're going to return data. Now we can't quite return the data yet because this is going to be an array. So we're going to uh, use the MySQL fetch a sock function and wrap this all in this. So if I go ahead and print our data. And go ahead and just kill the script there and I refresh uh, you see now we've got all of my data all of my user data from the database has been retrieved placed into this associative array and we can just use this wherever we want uh, and remember this user data function is returning the data so it's returning an array within init.php uh, user data is now an array so if I was to go ahead and say echo user in fact let's do that within this query here so if I was to go ahead and say echo user data, um, let's say username, and I refresh, it, we've got Alex up here. If I was to go and say echo user data password, and I refresh, we get my password uh, hash, uh, and the same with things like first name and stuff like that. However, obviously, if I go ahead and remove first name, we don't have access to that so you need to make sure we've got an undefined index error there so you need to make sure that you're passing through uh, the all of the parameters that you want to use and then you can just use them uh, as you please so if for example and I'll just give a quick example if we were to go ahead and add say um, another field to here uh, at some point oops over in the structure tab if we were to add a, a field at the end of the table and this was to be called uh, I don't know, color and our favorite color, for example, var char, uh, let's say 10. And I was to go ahead and update my account to reflect this. This could be in the front end or in the back end. Actually, my favorite color is green. Um, click go. Now, what would I want to do if I want to out update my out output to my favorite color? Well, all I do is I pass through color 
and then I can go ahead and just use this anywhere on the site and bear in mind this line we can use anywhere on the site because we now have access to this user data variable and then we have the result there so it's so easy we don't need to write another line of code once we've done this so if you're struggling with this do it you'll you know you'll you'll uh, feel better a lot better for it so let's go ahead and tidy up all this rubbish I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this color uh, field at the end of here so let's drop that okay and we don't want to output my favorite color that now returns an error instead what we want to do is we want to return back to our original example which is logged in here and I'm gonna say um, actually we want an h2 in here because remember this is a widget and it, it uses an h2 um, let's go over to login actually as a reference let's copy this and paste this in here so this is where we want to say hello whatever and this is where we want some links so some links go in here so inside of here I'm gonna say echo in fact now I'll do it the, uh, the, the proper way so hello and then echo user data remember what we've just done uh, we'll say first name we'll greet the user by the first name I think that's a lot nicer and an ex nice exclamation mark on the end when I refresh hello Alex so we now have access to this data anywhere on our site so any pages where we include init.php we have this information and uh, that's about it we've created a, a really flexible way to retrieve data from the database we've included this logged in script because we are um, obviously logged in now otherwise we would have included this but now that we are logged in inside init.php we check that we're logged in we save the session we grab all this user data and then we can output it absolutely anywhere